Hello, good evening, guys. Here we have Veronica, Caro, Christian, and Susie. So let's uh, get started. Veronica, hello, good evening. Can you hear me? ¿Me puedes escuchar, pero? Yes. Bueno, vamos a probar. Eh, Carito, hello, Caro. ¿Me escuchas? Yes. Hello, teacher. Good ah, evening. Okay. Hello, good evening. Good night, teacher. Hello, hello. How was your day? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo, es? ¿Cómo está? Nice. Nice. Wow. Nice. I like to hear that. Me gusta escuchar eso. Okay. Nice. So, um, tell me. Anything new? Algo nuevo? Or everything like calm, very normal, todo normal. Verónica, Carolina, normal day. Uh, el día sí, la tarde ya no. No, different. No. Okay. Un More traffic. work. Ah, Un traffic. Tráfico. Yes. El tráfico horrible, dos horas en el tráfico. Wow. Did you have dinner? ¿Cenaste? No. No. Okay, maybe you have some snack. Tal vez puede tener un pequeño ahí. Yes. Right? Yes. It is necessary. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. uh, Caro, uh, was it raining? ¿Está lloviendo? Yes. Wow. Yes. That, that's worse. Es peor. When uh, the traffic is like uh, very stuck, como que está bien detenido. And it is raining, it is worse. Yes. 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 Okay, so two hours in the traffic. Two hours. Wow. Okay. I'm so sorry to hear that, Susie. Hello, Susie. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How is your energy? How is your mood? A ver, ¿cómo está tu energía? Vamos a ver, estamos low battery. Batería baja. Yeah. Sí, yes. Why? Yeah. ¿Por qué? Pues, usted es el alma de la fiesta. Monday difficult. Ya no quiero ser el alma de la fiesta. Okay. Okay, you're not going to be the center of the party. Okay. Yes, Mondays are usually difficult. Um, so I had a lot of work today. I know it's difficult, but okay, we're going to talk about uh, different things, right? Here we have Christian as well. Maybe um are you there, Christian? Hi, teacher. Hello, my Good friend. Evening. Hello. Good evening. Uh, how was your day? Come to the day. Um, I am good. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> okay. Nice. And tell me, Christian. And uh, last time I, I get no, not the last time, but once you mentioned that you go to the gym, right? To go, yes. you go to work out. How many times uh, do you go? How, how many times do you work out? Two times at the week, three times, four times at the gym. Eh, ¿Cuántos días? No. Yes, yes, yes. Cuando me queda tiempo, porque ahora ya no me queda casi tiempo. Yes, that, that happens, that happens. Uh, uh, por, la, por la clase, pierdo. Mm -hmm. Está bien. echando la culpa, Christian, okay. <laughs> yes, that, 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 that is very common, yeah. But, well... It is good to, to be healthy, to eat healthy, comer saludable. Sometimes we don't eat, uh, we eat different things like junk food, comida chatarra. <laughs> I think everybody loves it. Creo que todos nos gusta, right? Uh, yes. Okay, that's it. Okay, Helen, hello there, Helen. No there, no estás por ahí? Okay. Teacher, todavía estoy en el trabajo. Okay, no problem, no problem. Um, you tell me when you uh, when you're okay. Cuando ya estés eh, bien, me, me avises, okay? So, uh, we're going to start. Let's see. Um, we have present continuous. This is the topic of today's present continuous WH question, ¿verdad? Preguntas con WH en presente continuo. Eh, vamos a, a trabajar hacer con esto, ok, this is the class number 13, number 13, imagine Susi, seven days and goodbye, so solo nos quedan siete clases, verdad, así que, so 
You have to be like really happy. Deben de ser como pues felices. Right, Carito? And we're about to finish. So, um, to get started, and uh, here we have, this is an important topic, borrow versus lend. Necesito que copien esto, significa, estos verbos significan prestar. Cuando ustedes quieren, when you want something for a short period of time, you can use borrow or you can use lend, right? So uh, those verbs are important, okay? Especially when you ask for, um, fav well, not favors, but objects, okay? Cuando pedimos objetos, entonces es importante utilizar borrow. But um, it is commonly confused, ¿verdad? Comúnmente, pues, nos confundimos un poco con respecto a eso, al borrow versus lend. Bien, tenemos borrow, to take something and then return it que es tomar algo y después regresarlo. Repito, estas dos cosas significan prestar, ¿ok? Prestar. Lend, to give something then and get it back, ¿ok? Aquí estamos. Pero lo que vamos a entender o lo que vamos a utilizar es esta pregunta. Y necesito que la anoten esta pregunta, right? This word is quite, let's see. This word. No, I think you can see it. Creo que no lo pueden ver. Okay, this question and this question. Estas dos preguntas son las importantes. May I borrow your pen? May I borrow your pen? Y la otra es, could you lend me your pen? Ambas significan, puedes prestarme tu lapicero. Okay? May I borrow or could you lend me? En lugar de may y en could, pueden utilizar can, ¿ok? Pueden utilizar también can. Puede ser can I. I'm sorry. Puede ser así o puede ser. Honestamente, honestly, I prefer can you lend me. Siempre utilizo ese can you lend me, may you lend me, could you lend me, okay? But there are some people that use can I borrow, okay? So here we have two examples by using can, and here we have some other examples using may or could, okay? So hello everybody, that we, have, uh, we have now Marlon, we have Carmen, Carla, Diego, Don Diego, you look very formal, Diego. Hello. And Helen uh -huh. is. Okay. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Okay. Fine. Carmen. Hello, Carmen. How are you doing? Good. Fine. Okay. I guess fine. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Perfect. Carlita. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. And Marlon. Right. Um, so. Hello, my teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Okay. Um, repitiendo, borrow and lend significa prestar, pero uh, lo utilizamos de dos maneras. Aquí, may I borrow your pen or could you lend me your pen? Could you lend me? Ahora podemos utilizar can. Aquí ve. Can I borrow your book or can you lend me your book? I was telling you that in my case, I prefer to use can you lend me. Could you lend me? Yo prefiero eso. I, I like it more. Me gusta más. But you can use it, uh, this one, as well. So I need you to make a question. Necesito que haga una pregunta acerca de un préstamo. Por ejemplo, Carito le puede decir a Christian, uh, Christian, can you lend me your cell phone? Okay. And then Christian is going to ask to another person, for example, Carmen. Carmen, um, may I borrow your mouse or whatever? Think about, a, well, a random object. It doesn't have to, to be like something in specific, okay? Uh, you can talk about pets, about cell phones, TV, whatever you want, okay? But I need you to have like the clear about the question. Así que utilizan, utilizan borrow or utilizan lend, okay? We're going to start with Christian, okay, Christian? What if we start with you, my friend? 
Eh, question, ¿verdad? Yes. Le tenés que preguntar a alguien, por ejemplo, a Susi o a Marlon. Uh -huh. eh, aquí, aquí uh -huh. here you have two examples. Tienes dos ejemplos aquí y también tienes otros uh -huh. dos ejemplos. Ok. Va. Marlon, can I borrow your bicycle? Uh -huh. Ok. El bicycle. <coughs> so, now, uh -huh. now you, Marlon, ask to another person. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. um, Veamos, eh, Verónica, can you let me, can you lend me your phone? Ok, Verónica, now you ask a question to another participant. Ok, Verónica. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. ok, ok. Ok, now you ask a yes. question. Yes, but you ah, have to ask que yo a haga le, Que yo le haga una. Yes, to, to another person, to Susie, Carmen, Carla, Diego, mm. Caro, Helen, mm -hmm. whoever. Helen, can Helen. you let me calculator? Okay, can you let me a calculator? But Helen is busy, so we're going to pass. Okay, we're going now to Susie. Okay, Susie, now are you ready? Yep, uh, mm -hmm. a Diana. Diana is here. Ya está aquí, Diana. No está Diana, no. No, esta mujer. Ah, va, Caro. Ok, Caro. Uh -huh. Ok. Can you let me your um, sunglasses? Sun, sunglasses. Yep. Ok. Yep. Uh -huh. You want to go to the beach. Ok, Caro. Now you can ask to Carmen, Carla, Diego, eh, Kevin. Uh -huh. Ok. Carla, can you borrow your notes? Ok. Aquí están dos ejemplos. No puedes decir can you borrow. Decir can, can I borrow. I, can I borrow your, bo your, your notes? No, notes. Your notes. Tus notes. No. Uh -huh. okay, ok. Ok, good. Now, Carla, you go. Can, can, you, can I borrow your pencil? Pencil. ¿A quién? Um, Carmen, okay. Let's see, Carmen. Carmen. Okay, Carmen. Now you go, Carmen. Okay. Uh, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Can you let me do what? Okay. Fine. Okay, Kevin. You go. Diego, can you let me your computer? Okay, Diego. Your turn. Yeah. Okay. Claudia, um, you can say yes. Um, Dorita, Claudia, Alex. Mm -hmm. Okay, Claudia, uh, can I borrow your stapler? Okay. Claudia, hello. Estamos haciendo preguntas. Dorita, Alex, estamos, Edgar, estamos haciendo preguntas. Podemos utilizar cualquiera de esta opción. Okay, esta opción o puedes utilizar esta opción. Or you can use this option or this one, okay? Cualquiera de estas. Mm -hmm. Okay. A cualquiera le puedo preguntar. Eh, tú solo di la pregunta. No hay problema. Ah, okay. Uh, can I borrow your tablet? Okay. Can. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Fine. Eh, Dorita. Hello, Dorita. Did you listen to the, the, the instruction, right? Good evening. Hello, good evening, Dorita. Can I can you lend my your book? Okay, can you lend me your book? Okay, that yes, that, that that's good, that's good. Okay, and we have also mm -hmm. can you lend me your book? Thank you. What about Edgar? And then Alex. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, the first, I can borrow your book. Your okay, book. can I? Can I? Can I? Can I borrow your book? Book. Okay. Good. Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello. Mm -hmm. ¿Escuchaste la indicación? Uh, no, no. Okay. Okay. Ya lo vamos a practicar. Tienes que hacer una pregunta con cualquiera de esas, pero ya lo voy a practicar en la siguiente, en la siguiente slide. Just give me a. A second. Ok. Teacher, uh -huh. yo estoy un poco confundida. ¿Me podría volver a explicar un poco? O sea, okay. ¿quién? Okay. Utilizar? ok, ahorita. 
Eh, para los que acaban de venir también, ¿verdad? Susi quiere una retroalimentación. Y para los que acaban de venir, borrow and lend significa prestar, ¿verdad? Es como utilizamos este verbo cuando queremos que nos presten. When we want people eh, give us something for a short period of time, ¿ok? It is not, it is, that is not going to be ours. No va a ser de nosotros, ¿ok? So, we use borrow or lend. Y tenemos dos formas. May I borrow your pen? Por eso, yo les escribí aquí en lugar de may. En lugar, en lugar de may, podemos utilizar can también. Ok. There, there, there's no problem. Ok. Ok. Cualquiera de estas dos maneras. Ok. E incluso... Eh, podemos utilizar could. Ok. Pero ese es el formato. Ahora, para los otros es len. Ok. Que es quien. Vamos a utilizar el mail. Ok. Tenemos esto. Ok. Now, uh, I'm sorry. Um, Tenemos acá y en lugar de eso podemos utilizar can. Y también podemos utilizar cool. Ok. Elijan cualquiera de las dos formas para utilizarla casi siempre. Ok. Pueden decir esta. May I borrow? Can I borrow? Could I borrow? O puede decir may you lend me? Can you lend me? Could you lend me? Ok. Solo hay dos opciones. O sea opción, que borrow es pues, para primera persona y len es para tercera. No necesariamente. El borrow es cuando la acción recae en ti. Y a lend me cuando recae en la, en, en la otra persona. Entonces, por eso es, antes, más que confundirse y todo eso, solo sigan ese formato. ¿Ok? Porque, y, y no sé, Susi, ¿cuál te parece más, más práctico? ¿El borrow o el lend? Lend. Mm -hmm. Lend. It's like practical. ¿Ok? You can use borrow. Pero normalmente lo que he visto que esto confunde un poquito a la gente, aunque no es tan confuso, but, but sometimes it happens. So you can say, can you lend me? Can you lend me? And, and you mention the object. Can you lend me? Could you lend me? May you lend me? Ok. Así que utilicen ese y así es. Y cuando escuchen, may I borrow? Can I borrow? Pues significa que también te están pidiendo algo. Ok. Pero está So uh, if you want, lend me. I don't know in the case of Carmen, what? Uh, which one do you prefer, Carmen? Borrow or lend? Lend, teacher. Lend, okay. And what about um, um, Veronica? Which one do you prefer, using borrow or using lend? It's your lend. Okay, lend. Okay, perfect. Y aquí podemos ver una parte que dice avoid. Avoid significa evitar. Este verbo es importante, avoid. Evitar. Please borrow me. Aquí está el punto, como, como, como decía Susi, ¿verdad? Que, que, que si el verbo al final incidía, no pueden decir borrow me. ¿Ok? Y eh, la forma correcta, ¿verdad? La forma correcta para este, utilizarlo pueden decir, please lend me. También pueden decir eso. ¿Ok? También pueden decir, please lend me that book. So I'm going, we're going to, to see some other examples. Vamos a, a ver otros ejemplos en este momento. ¿Ok? Susi, más o menos claro hoy sí. Ya. Yeah. Yep. Ya la Excellent. Yes, yes. Excellent. Great. So, um, and, Andrea, hello, Andrea. Hello, Helen. Eh, les recomiendo que tomen una captura de esto. Ok. Y, y pues voy a seguir explicando sobre esto, este, Andreita, ¿verdad? Pero es importante estas oraciones. Ok, eh, Helen también, ya que se acaban de conectar. Ok, perfect. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Vaya, uh, es, recapitulando, Andrea y Helen, estas son dos maneras para decir si te, me prestas, ¿verdad? Me prestas lapicero, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de estas dos maneras. Ok, pueden utilizar, utiliz, eh, pueden utilizar borrow o pueden utilizar lend. ¿Ya? Y para utilizar borrow puede ser cualquiera de las tres. Y lend cualquiera de estas tres. Ok. Bien, voy a seguir explicando. Porque expliqué esto como tres veces. 
Ok. Borrow. Aquí tenemos lend, ¿verdad? Borrow eh, igual dice to take something from someone and give it back later, ¿verdad? Tomar algo, ¿verdad? De alguien y darlo después. To y lend, to give something to someone that they bring back later, ¿verdad? Aquí es dar. Dar algo a alguien para que después te lo entregue. Ya. Esa es la, eh, la, la, la diferencia principal. Cuando decís borrow, dame, dame un objeto y lend me, ¿verdad? Que se entrega. Uh -huh. So that's it. Por ejemplo, I need to return the books I borrowed from the library. Necesito regresar los libros que presté, que tomé, que tomé de la librería. Y luego sería, the library will lend you five books for two weeks. La librería te dará, te prestará, te dará cinco libros por dos semanas, ¿ok? So that, that, that's the specific action. Borrow, recibir, lend, that, ¿ok? So that's it. I think we have a little bit clear about it. Uh, we're going to use it later. Lo vamos a utilizar pues, un poquito después. And I'm going to ask for, well, I'm going to take the, the assistance. So tell me, hi, hello, good evening, if you are there. Ana Mercedes, no. No, here. Andrea. Hello, Andreita. I'm, uh, buenas noches, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Relax. Uh, I guess you're in a rush. Te veo como apurada. Relax. Tomate un vasito de agua, ok? Ok. Good. Carmen. I'm here. Hello. Eh, Carolina. Present. Eh, Claudia. Hello. Present. Perfect. Eh, Christian. Present. Thank you, um, Alex. Present. Good. Diana, I guess Diana is not here. Diego, hello, Diego. Present, teacher. Perfect. Dora. Present. Good. Edgar. Good evening. Good evening, Helen. Present. Perfect. Carla. Present. Fine. Kevin. Present. Good. Marlon. Present. Thank you. Susie. Present. And Veronica. Present. Okay, good. So we're going to continue because uh, the time is passing by and we have a lot of content. So, which is more important? Talent, hard work, discipline, or perseverance? You tell me which one you, you consider like more important, okay? So for this uh, question, we're having as the first participant to Carito. Are you ready, Carito? To be famous? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, tell me. Um, for my point of view, all the taste aspects are important. It is worth maintaining some, some more. For example, tolerance, punctuality, empathy, and the discretion. Wow, yes, yes, okay. I like the ones that, that you mentioned, okay? You said that all of them are important, but also tolerance, okay, empathy, of course, yes. There are some other uh, attitudes or characteristics that we can adapt, okay, thank you. What about Carmen? Are you ready, Carmen? I'm ready. Okay, and then Kevin. The most Go important ahead. talent for me is perseverance. Because it denotes persistence, firmness, and dedication in ideas and attitudes to do something. Okay, good. Thank you for, for um, mentioning attitude. Okay, yes, of course it is. Thank you, Kevin. And then we go with Claudia. Here. Okay, okay, I'm going to give you time. And Claudia, what about you? Ready? Yes. Okay, nice. Yes. And then we go with Christian. For okay. me, discipline. Discipline, okay. Because for either work of daily living, you need a lot of self-discipline to get far. Okay, wow. Yeah, self-discipline, very good aspect that you mentioned. Okay, I agree with you also, Claudia. Christian, and then we go 
with um, yes, after Christian. It's ready, Dorita. You go, okay, Dorita. Okay. For me, it's very. Yo iba, Dorita. No, tú, tú, Christian. You, your uh, for me, it's very important. Uh, uh, the the discipline, or como se dice, discipline. Uh, discipline, yes. Discipline. Uh, 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 sin is it depend on the general uh, other talents que de ella dependen también otros talentos mm -hmm. ok ok la discipline. from discipline you can develop other other skills other characteristics ok thank you and we go with Dorita and then Diego my opinion is the perseverance. Okay, that's that's the perseverance most... because of the saying goes that he who perseveres. Okay, the person is going to continue, keep on, mm -hmm. keep on trying. Ese es el punto, seguir intentando. Okay, and now we go with Diego and Veronica. Okay, Diego, tell me. Okay, teacher. I I be sincere with you. I don't have enough time to do homework today. Okay, but, no problem. But I, I will not stay without trying. Okay, I will try. Perfect. Okay, and I believe discipline is more important than talent or hard work, or even the last one. I forget it. Perseverance. Perseverance, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Because even if you don't, if you don't have this last. With discipline, you are going to be successful in every you do, everyone, everything you do or every everything you want. For instance, uh, Japanese people are very disciplined. And with this, they made a lot of advances in technology and science, and they are an inviable nation. However, if you are a hard worker and you are intelligent or even perseverant too, but you don't have discipline, you will probably not be successful in your life. Of course, and that has to do with objectives because if you have, if you are disciplined, uh, that, is, that means that you are clear what to do, okay? You have your clear, your uh, specific or okay, like near objectives and general ones. And uh, Japan, it's a good example how discipline can be, well, can, can lead to development. Como puede or can be beat. Yes, of course. Yes, you can beat that. Okay, perfect. Veronica. And after Veronica, we're having Carla, if you're ready. Okay. The discipline mm -hmm. why improves the productivity of the company, prevents conflicts in the world environment, benefits the company in workers. Wow, good, good point. Uh, avoid a uh, conflict. Yeah, that's it. Because if you are disciplined, it is not a matter of, of attitude, but you are clear what to do and you don't have problems with that, okay? So for example, to be punctual, it's part of discipline, okay? To hand in, I'm sorry, to hand out, entregar, to hand out, a report to send reports on time it's part of the discipline okay so that's it yeah you can avoid uh, a lot of problems with uh, well if you have discipline in your life okay carla are you ready a, a light of everything since that a point is need to be so successful so successful uh huh successful and achieve everything goal okay yes to achieve para lograr to achieve uh, okay whatever you you have or to keep on mind okay we're going to continue later with the rest of you okay because all of you are going to participate so uh, we continue with this so i'm going to give you a couple of seconds because i know that you are very uh well you are very skillful by memorizing, okay?
Okay, so tell me, Andreita, one word. Analyze the advan Analyze. advantage. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, perfect. Anal analyzing the advances. Okay, good. I'm uh, kidding, kidding. Okay, what about Susie? Eh, una palabra que me llamó mucho la atención, payrolls. Ah, payrolls, payrolls. I think, I don't know if Veronica has to do with that, que es la nómina de pago, ¿verdad? La, 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 uh, that, that is something because uh, Veronica said the last time that you work with checks, right? Trabaja con checks and all those things. Yes. Okay, okay so that, that's really important. And so payrolls, okay? So nómina de, 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 de sueldos, ¿verdad? O como la planilla, que diga, okay? Eh, Marlon, and then Edgar. Um, si no me equivoco, estaba por ahí checking reports. Okay, checking reports. Good one. Edgar, and then Kevin. El canciller, I am talking to colleagues. Um, okay, I'm talking to colleagues. Yes, of course. Kevin, and then Helen. Bueno, yo alcancé a leer. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Helen and Alex. There are many things. Okay, there are many things. And Alex. Checking report. Checking report. Okay. Uh, does anybody remember the names of these uh, girls? Mm -hmm. uh, Peter. Rose. Okay, Rose. Vaya. Mm -hmm. Ok, Rose, ajá. Peter, es la siguiente, Andreita. Mari. Ah, Mari, es mi amor, como dice Leodán. Ok, so Andrea says Peter. Vamos a ver, Andreita. Okay. Ahí dice Peter. ¿Dónde dice Peter? Sí, mire, donde dice Rose. Peter. <laughs> Vaya. Ok, <laughs> yes, ok, yes, yes, yes. Sí, va. Te doy, va. Tu punto, te doy un punto, es cierto. Mala. Ok, so we have uh, Mary and Rose. And the last is Peter, but they are talking about the, 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 this person. So, ok, so here we have, um, I will need the help, your help to read it. Ok, so Diego, could you help me by reading the first two lines? And then we're having um, Susie with this. Ok, hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Okay, we have Susie. Does. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Well, uh, there are many things I am, I am doing this, this week. week. Mm -hmm. This week. For example, I am singing some payroll on mm -hmm. Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Okay, thank you. Solo un detalle. Aquí es signing. Okay. Sign. Um, significa señal, pero también significa uh, firma, ¿ok? Ok, sign es firmar, ¿ok? Y signature es firma, eso es bien importante, ¿ok? Sign es the action of doing a signature, ¿ok? Signature es firma, o sea, cuando vean un documento en inglés y diga signature, ahí ustedes deben de firmar en esa parte, ¿ok? So, uh, uh, she says, I am sing, uh, signing, signing, okay? And thank you. And we have also here, um, Claudia, could you help me? That's okay, Claudia Diaz. That's okay. I am talking. 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 Talking mm -hmm. to colleagues. Col colleagues and checking reports. Reports, okay, thank you, okay? Now, Edgar, could you help me? And who is analyzing? Mm, and who is analyzing the advance in the company? Uh -huh, the advances in the company. Peter is. Uh -huh, que le dice Pedrito, Pedrito es. Okay, so we're having like a brief practice with this. I need you to, to have screenshot, please, guys. And we're going to work in pairs. As you can see, this uh, is a a really short conversation. So you're not going to have problems with this because it's really easy. 
and um, maybe the there are some words for example signing 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 okay payrolls wednesday remember wednesday no wednesday wednesday and we have talking talk talk como tiktok pero solo talk talking okay colleagues and that's it so um analyzing analyzing the advances and um as you can see all you you know all of this well the vocabulary, the main vocabulary. Ya tiene pues eh, como prácticamente, ¿verdad? Uh, bien identificado este vocabulario. So, we're going to have uh, short practice. Let's see. Okay. So, See you in a couple of seconds. Analyze the advance in the company. Uh, Peter is okay. Uh, Hello, Mari. What are some activities you you are doing this week? I wrote. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am sending some pay payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. Uh, who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Bye, teacher. Okay. Uh, how many <laughs> times have you practiced? ¿Cuántas cuánta veces han practicado? En no. la primera. Only one. No. Okay. Doing for the second time and you can switch. Pueden intercambiar. Oh, really? Okay, fine, fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher. Hola, Helen. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Tuviste problemas para entrar. Sí, es que estabas problema. conectada, es que estabas conectada de, en dos, estás con dos dispositivos. No, solo con uno. Me aparecían dos, me aparecían dos. Okay. Hoy es en medio del espíritu. <risa> <risa> ok, bueno, ya estamos teniendo con ellos, ya ahorita vamos acá a avanzar, we're going to advance. Muy bien, para mientras traba, vamos a, a darle, ¿ok? Eh, tú eres Rose, yo soy Mary, ¿ok? Ok. <laughs> Dale, hello Mary. Hello Mary, what are some activities you are doing this week? Hi Rose, well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I'm signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Hey. Thanks. 
I am talking to police and shaking report. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Okay, thank you. Good. Uh, so, si no te, thank you, Helen. So, si no okay. te con lentes. Porque no me gusta. <laughs> okay, you look uh, like different. Pero siento sí, cansada la vista. Sí, no me había fijado en eso. <laughs> Ajá, es que eso sí se ve. Eh, you look different. I am a new girl. Yeah, you're the new, the new, the new girl. Intelectual. Wow. Wow. Well, like a scientist. En lo, oscurito, en lo oscurito dice para que no la vean, dice. Ah, ok. Tengan cuidado con lo oscurito. Me da pena. Okay, okay you're ashamed. Te da pena. Ok, I'm ashamed. Te da penita. No, pero no tenga problema. Ok, so uh, now let's see. Tell me uh, one sentence in present continuous that you can identify. Diego, you're the first and then Marlo. One sentence okay. in present continuous. Continuous. For example, I am signing some payrolls on yeah. Tuesday. Ok, good. Marlon, okay, I am signing, what is this? Okay, uh, the next is, I am talking to colleagues. Okay, I'm talking to colleagues, okay. And checking reports. And checking reports. Report. It is part of, it is present continuous by using the same verb, utilizando siempre el verbo acá. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. What okay. about, um, what about Andrea? Um, and who is analyzing the advances in the wow, company? Wow, that's fine. Pero ya me perdí. Ah, who is analyzing? Yes. Es una oración en presente continuo, solo que es una pregunta. It's a question. Pero es, but yes, of course, and definitely it is present continuous. Who is analyzing the advances? Okay. So, um, mm -hmm. y faltaría esta. What are some activities you are doing this week? Vamos a ver, Claudia. ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo podemos identificar las oraciones en presente continuo? Present continuous. Porque están acompañadas de un verbo. Muy bien. ¿Y ese verbo con qué finaliza? ING. Yes. Yes. That's it. Ok. Bueno, ya vi que hay otra oración que hace falta. Carmen, ¿ya la identificaste? Claudia? I am doing this yes, week. Yes, I'm no. sorry, Carmen. Yes. I am sorry, doing this week. Sí, la ganaste el mandado. Okay. No, no problem. I am doing this week. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, ese present continuous se refiere a un futuro que ya, 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 ya va a pasar. Hola, María. Eh, ¿Cuáles son las actividades que vas a hacer este fin de semana? Ok. So, hola, Rosita Alvarez. Bien. Uh, hay muchas cosas que yo voy a hacer esta semana. I'm doing this week. Ok. Es como les decía, esta semana, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, all those words are, uh, work uh, as adverbs. Ok. So, um, to continue, only one question. What are some activities Mary is doing this week? Susie, do you remember one? ¿Te recuerdas de una, Susie? Sí. Uh, signing the paper. Uh, no recuerdo la otra, pero es similar. Ok, ya te gustó payrolls, ¿verdad? No sé por qué tiene, tiene para esa comida. Ok, Kevin, what about you? Estoy seguro si dice mmm, como algo de checking reports. Ok, o... ok, ok, checking reports. Solo que eso lo hace Rosa, pero sí, es una actividad que va a pasar. Fine, fine. What about Verónica? Sending emails. Yes, Veronica. Sending emails. Of course. So you can see here, signing some payrolls, sending emails. And Rose is talking to colleagues. Okay. So um, question, Car Carito. Who is analyzing advances? Uh -huh, Carito. Who is analyzing the Mary? advances? No, Mari? no, María, mi amor, no. Ok, <laughs> Helen. No, 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 Peter, Peter, Peter. Peter, Peter Parker, Peter. yes, Pedrito, yes, yes. el escamoso. Ok, yes, fine. So we continue with this. Fill in the blanks 
fulfill significa completa. Si quieren anotar este verbo. Cuando uh, this verb uh, appears in some forms, en algunos formularios, in some forms, especially in the airport, en el aeropuerto, or when you will have to complete with your uh, information, personal information, it, the instruction says fill. Fill es este, completar o llenar, ¿ok? Full es lleno, ¿verdad? Full es lleno, pero fill es completar, es el verbo. So, fill in the blanks. Blanks significan los espacios que, 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 que están en blanco acá, ¿verdad? Blanks. Uh, with the events you have at your workplace, ¿ok? Here we have uh, three. Uh, let's listen to Helen. ¿Cómo pronuncias la primera, Helen? How do you pronounce this? Ok. Sign. Signing, ok. Signing payrolls. Sending emails, analyzing the advances, ok. Uh, could you please add um, six of activities you have to do? Pueden, pues, es, agregar seis actividades que ustedes van a hacer en el trabajo. Sending emails, uh, checking reports, checking inventory. And if you have some others, you can do it. For example, signing like attendance books, si tienen un libro de asistencia, okay? Or checking the, mm -hmm. checking the, the inventory. No, I already said that. You can say some other, talking to the supervisor, because I guess you're going to talk with your chief or your boss, okay? So that's it. Um, so you can use uh, different, different activities that you're going to do at your workplace. Algunos events, algunos events, okay? So, uh, completed uh, six more, seis más, seis de las que están acá, and we're going to share it, ya lo vamos a compartir. Recuerden, remember that the, uh, the events uh, should be with ING. Debe de estar con ING. Talking to my boss, supervising, checking, sending, preparing, um, calling, writing, taking notes, typing. Okay, now that we are ready, we're going to be in groups of three. Vamos a estar en grupos de cuatro. You have to interchange at least three activities. Intercambien, uh, okay, two activities. Intercambien dos actividades cada uno, okay? And then we're going to make, uh, we are going to create uh, sentences in present continuous. Vamos a, a crear Oraciones presente continuo. Por ejemplo, for, for instance, Diego, Marlon, and Andrea. So let's suppose they are going to be together. So they share. Ellos van a compartir their activities that they're going to do or the events. So, for example, Andrea has to check the product. Diego, anota eso, checking the product. Y cuando yo le pregunto a Diego, Diego can, may say, Andrea is checking the product. Okay? And Marlon, if Andrea says, uh, talking to my boss, uh, Marlon is going to say, when we come back, cuando regresemos, Marlon will say, um, Andrea is talking to her boss. Okay? One example. One example. Okay? So I'm going to create groups of three, intercambiing esa información que tienen por lo menos dos eventos, two events that you have during this week. Okay, you go. Las anotan, take notes.
Ajá. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Checking express. Expiration dates. Dates. Ok. Ajá. No sé si las copió Helen. Helen. Hola, perdón. Es que los perros están ladrando, por eso lo apagué. Vaya. ¿Copió eh, las mías? No le alcancé a escuchar. No. de caja ¿no? uh -huh. y la otra la otra updating the product on the on the system updating sí updating the products on the system products on the system al sistema Okay, uh, just uh, give me a minute for the others to, to finish because you are like very quick. Number three. Number two. Number two. Preparing. Prepa, ¿Cómo es pre para reportes? ¿Cómo se diría? Preparing report. Preparing report. O writing. O puedes poner writing report. Más sin mascarilla se contagiaron. Sí. Ya estamos listos, teacher. You're done? Really? Wow. So, <laughs> ah, no, si este grupito es. Mm, okay, fine. Perfect, perfect. Just give me some time. Okay, so tell me, um, uh, tell me some activities that your classmates are going to do. Uh, it can be tomorrow during the, the week. Okay, so let's listen to Kevin. Mention only one. For example, Carmen is Carla or Dora or I don't know. Select one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so is. Checking inventory. Okay, Susie, checking inventory. Thank you. And Susie, you go. Okay, Claudia is sending, is sending emails. Sending emails. Okay, good. Claudia, your turn. Okay. Um... Uh, Kevin, checking document. Ok, documents. Te falta algo. Document. Kevin checking. No, no es Kevin checking. Kevin okay. is checking. Is checking. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, is Andrea. Checking ok, good. Andreita, you go. Helen is checking reports of products. Good. Helen, your turn. Andrea is checking inventory. Ok, good. Thank you. Diego, please. Okay, 
Just one. Yes, just one. Okay, Caro is checking products. Okay, good. Carito, your turn. Okay. Uh, Alex, uh, Alex is checking emails. Okay, good. Alex, your turn. Uh, Diego is program payment agree. Okay, good. Now, uh, Marlon, your turn. Okay, um, Edgar is updating the products on the system. Wow, interesting. Edgar, you go. Uh, uh, is, is Mar Marlon is drawing some plants. Drawing, okay, good. Uh, now we go, let's go with Veronica. Ready? Marlon checking manufacturing process. Okay, solo te falta algo. Marlon, Marlon is yes, checking manufacturing process. Okay, good, interesting. Now we go with Carmen. Okay, Dorita is greeting uh, letters. Writing, writing letters, okay. Perfect, Dorita. Carmen is receiving offer of technical courses. Good, receiving, receiving. receiving. Mm -hmm. Nice, Carla, your turn. And after Carla, we're having Alex, me parece. Uh, Carmen, co co coordinating COVID test. Okay, Carmen is coordinating. Okay, good. Alex, your turn. Okay, Alex. Okay. Um, remember that this uh, chart is just for like, well, checking uh, the activities that or events that we have to do. Now we go, um, which is more important talent, hard work, discipline or perseverance and why? And now we're having the participation of Marlon, right Marlon? Okay. Um... I believe that uh, all these aspects are important for being an integral person. Um, however, discipline can be uh, in the first place because from this aspect depends the rest, in my opinion. Okay. If you are, if you have, or if you are disciplined, disciplined, mm -hmm. uh, you can, you are hardworking, you, can have persever perseverance, perseverance, and mm -hmm. perseverance, and you can uh, maybe if you don't have too much talent, you can learn all the all the activities you have to do, and if you are disciplined, you can do it well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think my to be yeah to be disciplined. Sería con the discipline. As you said, is the basis. Es que es la base. It's the basis, right? In my opinion, okay. Yes. You can do a lot of things, but you can be the most talented person. But if you don't have the, the direction where to go, it is going to be difficult to, to, to succeed. Okay. Yes. yes. I think what is like the first step. Okay. Thank you, Marlon. Okay. Uh, now we're having Susie. Okay, in my point of view, it is perseverance because it teaches you not to give up as the process you are in progress. If you are persistent, you may learn to be disciplined and work hard to follow the goal. Okay, I like a word that you said, uh, don't give up. Okay, no darse por vencido. Okay, yes. There are a lot of people that maybe they are about to succeed, about to finish, uh, like the, the 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 hard, the hardest part, como la parte más difícil, and they give up. Y se dan por vencidos. Okay, yeah, perseverance. It's uh, really important. Así como dicen que persevera alcanza, right? So that, that that's true, and it is important. Thank you, Susie. Very good. 
Kevin, are you ready now, Kevin? And then Alex. Yes. Okay, go ahead, my friend. In my opinion, all these things are very important in life to fulfill your dreams or your projects. Okay, that's it. Do you have uh, some or any uh, specific aspects that do you consider like most important? Eh, ¿Qué cosa más importante? Era la pronunciación de disciplina. Discipline. Discipline, okay. discipline, disciplinado, discipline. Con D al final. Uh -huh. So, discipline. Yes, the discipline. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, you see as discipline. Good, thank you. Alex, are you ready, my friend? Yes. Please, go ahead. And then, I, I think that persevering is more important because persevering is, is how we can achieve many things, including success. Okay, achieve, uh, an important achieve. Uh, an important word, lograr, yes. Of course, thank you, Alex. Okay, and we finish with Helen and Edgar and Andrea. Okay, Helen, ready? Yes. Okay, please. All the information and the question is very useful. Mm -hmm. Remember the goals, achieved of objectives. We must be strict with us. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, thank you, Helen. And now we'll go with Edgar and then we're going to finish with Andrea, okay? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I think the most important the perseverance because if one has talent or discipline who does not have the perseverance to achieve or keep trying over and over again, you and um, you see what one wants because talent or discipline are worth nothing if one does fight, not fight. Okay, perfect. Okay. Mm. That's good. Uh, as, as you said, fight, okay? You have to look for your dreams. Thank you. And Andrea, we finish with Andrea. Okay. I think that both talents are important to do a good job, also to be su successful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it be successful so um what is the most important for you i'm sorry uh, discipline discipline okay yes discipline discipline of course it is so um it is like one of the most important yes thank you thank you very much um andreita now i'm going to send you some um a, an activity that this activity is based on reading is this one. Let me show you. You can check on WhatsApp, when I revisar in WhatsApp. I send you this activity, is it is reading. I'm going to give you like three minutes to read this para leer esto. And then we're going to discuss it. Si se dan cuenta, pocas veces tenemos lectura, ¿verdad? Pero hoy sí, vamos a tener eso. Para discutir, we're going to discuss this. It is important for you to identify four topics. Vamos a identificar cuatro temas. Organize yoga classes. Two, celebrate birthdays. Three, paintball. And four, guess who. Okay, guess who. So I'm going to give you some time. So you can uh, have like a brief read, reading. And then we're going to discuss it. Después lo vamos a discutir. Okay. Teacher. 
Okay, hello, tell me. Podría, por favor, repetir el objetivo de esta actividad. Por favor, no, es que no alcancé a escuchar. Okay, uh, solo tienen que leer, es lectura comprensiva. Ah, ok. Ok, ajá, lectura comprensiva. Ya vamos a, hay preguntas con respecto a esos temas. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, yes. En celebrate birthdays, eh, hay una palabra donde dice simply a uh, uh, no no sé qué. Ok, si quieres vamos a hacer algo, vamos a ir por partes y me dicen qué palabras, ¿ok? Ah, yeah. Para que todos estemos en la misma sintonía. Ok, comenzamos. Okay. Vamos, ya vamos a llegar a esa. Ok, vamos primero con organize yoga classes. Vamos a ver eh, si tenemos palabras acá que son nuevas. Uh -huh. Sitting es, eh, pues, sentarse, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Underestimate. Eh, como sobreestimar, ¿ok? Um, um, outlook significa panorama, ¿ok? Release es liberar. Lift, lift es levantar, por ejemplo, lift weights es levantar pesas o lifting. Entonces, lift mood es levantar el ánimo, ¿ok? And outcomes es como... Lo que necesito. Mm, hello. ¿Qué necesita, Susi? Lift mood. Ajá, eh, levantar el, 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 el ánimo. Cuando a veces le preguntan, how is your mood? Cuando le preguntan, how is your mood? ¿Cómo está tu ánimo? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo estás así de ánimo? How is your mood? ¿Ok? En outcome tenemos como resultados. ¿Ok? Así que vamos acá. Comenzamos. 
Eh, me van a ir leyendo oraciones, todos van a leer, ¿verdad? Entonces comenzamos con um, Andreita, number one. Desde acá hasta... Voy a poner con otro color. Hasta acá. Ok, Andrea. Please. Ok. If you work or uh, organize yoga classes. Mm -hmm. If you work in an office and you, your employees are sitting at computers every day. Don't un underestimate the impact yoga could ha have on their attitude and, and outlook. Okay, good. Now we go with Marlo. Yoga. Yoga can help allevi alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, function and lift mood. What boss? Good and want those outcomes. Mm, outcomes, okay. Now we continue with uh, number two. Celebrate birthdays. Thank you. We go with vocabulary. Uh -huh. Rely es como basarse, enfocarse. Eh, boss moral es como eh, levantar, pues la moral. Uh -huh. Eh, acknowledging es reconocer, el reconocimiento. Care, importar. Vaya, esta palabra la di hace un momento, ¿ok? Vamos a preguntarle a Verónica. ¿Te recuerdas qué significa eso, Verónica? Sign. Como... Signo, pero también como signatura decía firma. Yes, como una señal. yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Verónica. Afirmar card, una, una tarjeta. Okay, una, una tarjeta. Ok, once more, simple, buy them a round of coffees. Es una ronda de café. Ok. Ok. So, uh, here we have. I think we don't have uh, too much problems with this, okay? So, um, vamos a ver. Rely, enfocarse o confiar. Boost moral, levantar la moral. Acknowledging es el reconocimiento. Care, cuidar, sign, firmar, around, ah, round, una ronda. Okay, we're going to start with Edgar. Okay, Edgar, you're going to read from this until here, okay? Okay. Uh, you don't just have to rely rely on sinners game to boss moral okay yes and hey, now uh diego could you help me from this to this for sure teacher simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact it shows your team that you care about them as a people. Mm -hmm. Not as em employees. Not, not, just, not as just as employees. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Perfect. Carmen, uh, from here to here. Get everyone. Get everyone to sign a card. Mm -hmm. How take one a month or simply buy them a round of coffees. Each it's time someone in your team has a birthday. Has a birthday, okay, perfect, thank you. And now uh, we go with this painful. Give your employees an opportunity to left of some steam, verdad? Steam es, significa como vapor. Entonces cuando decimos let off some steam, como eh, liberarse. A eso se refiere, como liberar energías negativas. Uh, simply getting out, salir. Mm -hmm. Work wonders to foster morale. Watch out es cuidado. Dog, aunque. Prime target es como el objetivo principal. Okay. Prime target. Target, objetivo, target, prime, principal. Okay. So, uh, Veronica, could you help me here? Give your employees. Give your employees an opportunity to left of some steam by organizing a day of payball. Thank you, thank you. Okay, 
organizing a day of pain. Okay, now we go with um, Carla. Simply, hasta aquí, hasta morado. Okay. Simply getting out of the office, office. can work. work wonders. wonders of staff Moral. moral. Okay, thank you. Vamos con watch out. M and for watch out, Carito. Watch out, though. Watch out, though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime tiger. Mm -hmm. O sea que todos se van a ir contra el jefe. ¿Quién no le va a querer disparar al jefe? Okay, so that's it. <laughs> okay, guess who? Bien, entonces, organize yoga classes, celebrate birthdays, Paintball, son actividades, those are activities out of the work, out of the office. So, they have a specific purpose. Tienen un eh, propósito específico. Vamos con guess who. Ask, eh, ya saben que es pedir o preguntar, ¿ok? Ask es pedir o preguntar. I'm going to print a childhood, niñez. A childhood photo or photograph of themselves, de ellos mismos. And to put them up on the board and then get everyone to put their best guesses. Guess es, es poner, ¿verdad? Poner la foto y a ver qué, quién adivina. Guess. Forward on each one, adelante de cada uno. Uh, it's a bit easy, lighthearted. Lighthearted, uh, pues significa alegre, gracioso, fun, chistoso. That will lift, ya había dicho que lift. Vamos a ver, Marlon, ¿te recuerdas que es lift? Lift, lift, aquí está. Lift. Eh, creo que le levantar. Yes. Lift spirits. Levantar el espíritu while offering plenty of humor along the way. O sea que va a haber bastante humor en esta actividad. Okay. Ask everyone. We'll start now with Helen. Okay, Helen. Me vas a ayudar aquí. Ask everyone. Ask everyone to bring a child. Of, of themselves. Put of themselves and put them. To think, I hope I was. Hasta ahí, hasta ahí, on the board. Thank you. Kevin, could you help me? Thank you, Helen. And then, hasta acá. And then get everyone to put their best guesses forward. Forward on each one. Okay, thank you, thank you, Dorita. Okay. It's a bit of easy. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted, fun. fun that will definitely help lift spirit. Thank you, thank you, Dorita. And the last is going to be Christian while offering while uh, offering plant plenty uh, of humor along, along the way. The way. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, entonces ese es el punto. We have four activities. Organize yoga classes, celebrate birthdays, paintball, guess who? No es necesario, as I have told you before, if you have readings, it is not necessary to know all the words. No es necesario saber todas las palabras. But, yes, it is important to get the message. Como obtener el mensaje. Hay, hay partes claves, ¿verdad? Acá donde la importancia de organizar yoga clases, celebrar los cumpleaños, el paintball, que es para liberar energía, guess who, adivinar, es parte de, de, de actividades graciosas, que okay? celebrate birthdays, ayuda también con, con, a llevarse mejor, organize, glosa, eh, organize yoga clases, relaxing, ok, so now we're having uh, questions, and the first person is going to be Carmen, ok, Carmen, Help me, yoga. Carmen, ready, yoga. Hear me, hear me. Yoga has an important effect on employees. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's true or false? True. Okay, true, that's a good one. Okay, now Edgar, number two, yoga, yoga. Number two. Releases yoga releases yoga releases tension, but but it it doesn't sound divine. True or false? Releases tension. 
pero eh, false. Okay, yes, it's false. Okay, now let's go with who's going to help me? Veronica, number three, based based on the reading. Based on the reading, a special occasion or not import. Important. Okay, true Important. or false? False. Okay, false. Okay, because they are important. Thank you. Okay, Marlon, for workers. The workers can play paintball inside the office. Uh, that's false. Yes, that's false. You can't uh, do it. They okay. can't do it. They need no. more space. Yeah, they need more space. Yes. <laughs> and to hit the bus. Okay. And Susie. Childhood Child, photos. Childhood photos can offend employees. True or uh, false? false? False. You can't offend with, with childhood photos. I mean, it's like strange. Okay. Thank you, Susie. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, we're going with listening. Vamos con una actividad de listening. Uh, I need you to take notes. Necesito que tomen pues nota. De, de, it is short, it's being short. Okay, I will play it in a moment. Okay, I'm going to play it twice. Lo voy a poner dos veces. Speech and dreams. In this stage, the brain's activities are so high that one might feel he, she is awake, although they are fast asleep and dream. A dream can be hard to remember when one wakes up from sleep. One may have a dream for hours or just a few seconds. Thus, the dream is a component of sleep that most of the people experience while asleep. Let's listen again. Speech and dreams. In this stage, the brain's activities are so high that one might feel he, she is awake, although they are fast asleep and dream. A dream can be hard to remember when one wakes up from sleep. One may have a dream for hours or just a few seconds. Thus, the dream is a component of sleep that most of the people experience while asleep. Okay. So um, let's see. Mm, what about Alex? Do you have uh, any, any word or phrase, Alex? Es, escuché use the second. Okay, seconds. Okay, seconds. Seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. Claudia, what about you? And then Dora. Yo escuché activity, people, second. Okay. Nice. Dorita, then Susie. No escuché bien. No, no. Okay. No problem. Susie, then Carla. Uh, I just drink it and experience. Experience, okay. Carla, then Edgar. Yeah, escuché activity, sec activity, second, and drinking, sleep, y uh, people. Okay, ese de drinking es otra cosa, pero sí, se parece un poquito. Edgar, and then Carito. Escuché algo de special drinks y de sh y she is awake. Yes, ustedes están hablando de drinks. No sé a qué se refieren. Es lunes, gente. Tranquilos. But uh, it is another word. Se parece a otra palabra. Okay. Pero cerca, cerca. Good. Okay. Carito, then Diego. Ok. Escuché activity, at week, second, sleep, people, experience. Ok. Good, Carito. Diego, then Helen. Ok, I heard that. She talks about the, the dreams are an important part of, of sleep. Mm -hmm. 
the tip. Yes, of course it is. So dreams, the word is dreams. Not okay. drinks. Not drinks. I know that you want drinks, but <laughs> relax. It's That's still Monday. Today. Come on. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Uh, Helen, then Andrea. En la goma, aquí. Ajá. Hand over. Susi, ah, por eso andas triste. Mm, okay. Por eso tiene lentes ahora. Ajá. Okay. Now everything. Ya está ciega, la ha dejado. Yes. No, pero así, así está, pobrecita. Okay. Susi. Okay, Susi. Relax. Helen and then Andrea. Sleep, remember. Mm -hmm. Wiley. Okay, nice. And, and deep. Okay, thank you. And now we go with Andrea. Okay, A stage, best activities. Uh, mm, most of the people experience. Most of the people experience, yes. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, the... The speech, the speech on dreams, dreams, not drinks. Okay, dreams. This, uh, uh, the, the girl from the audio, uh, she works in a call center. Uh, she's a, a, a really good, good, well, nice person. So if you listen to, to her, it is not, the, well, the words, it is like, it has a kind of fluency, but it is the, the ending or the, the, the yeah, the, ending or the beginning sounds are not so marked, no están tan marcadas, ¿verdad? That's why, because she's really uh, used to, to, well, to, to talk with, with American. So uh, I'm going to play it once. So you can have like a better and clearer idea. Speech and dreams. In this stage, the brain's activities are so high that one might feel he she is awake, although they are fast asleep and dream. A dream can be hard to remember when one wakes up from sleep. One may have a dream for hours or just a few seconds. Thus, the dream is a component of sleep that most of the people experience while asleep. Okay, so that's it, it's part of the listening. Okay, so the importance of dreams and um, we have 30 minutes and we finish the class. 30 minutes, terminamos la clase. So that's why and we're going to work. No, no, not on worksheet. We're going to, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to start with this. Vamos a comenzar con eso. Teacher. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa a sleep? Okay. Dormir. Sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Por lo tanto, el sueño es un componente, eh, el, el sueño es el, el componente de, de, del sueño, pero de dormir, ¿verdad? el sueño es otro de soñar, que la mayoría de personas experimentan mientras, mientras este, está en un estado de reposo. Sleep es estar en un estado de reposo. Ok. Ok, thank you. Dos significa therefore. Es por lo tanto. Esa es una palabra que es muy formal. Okay. Normal, eh, normalmente todos utilizan den, utilizan so, utilizan therefore, que dos significa por lo tanto. Ok. So, um, that's it. Ok. Anything else, Carito? Uh -huh. Ah, awake es despierto. Okay, awake es despierto. Wake up es despertar, pero awake es el sustantivo, despierto. Y sleep sería como en estado de reposo, como dormido, como que súper relajado. Como nos gustaría okay. estar todos. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, mm, we go with the worksheets. This is really easy. Me van a elegir una. One, check, uh, select one of this. Uh, this is like a short quiz, como un quiz bien cortito, okay? The first person to participate in here is going to be Edgar. So Edgar, pick one of these. Uh, one. One, okay. Uh, I am brushing my teeth twice a day. Okay, I am brushing my teeth twice. Okay, aquí dice, uh, recordemos una cosa. 
cuando utilizamos el present, we use present, es para hábitos y rutinas. Esa es una parte bien clave. Y el present es para lo que estás haciendo o en un futuro. Pero aquí dice, me I brush, yes. I brush. My teeth twice a day. Uh -huh. Me lavo los dientes o me cepillo dos uh -huh. veces al día. Uh -huh. Es una rutina. Ok. Uh -huh. Esa, eso okay. es bien clave. Ok. Thank you, Edgar. Okay. Fine. Uh, we go now with Verónica and Carla. Mm. I, five. Five. Ok. I normally eat breakfast very early. Okay, yes, it's a, it's a routine, right? It's a habit, okay. Carla, and then we go with Helen. Number three. Number three. Look, it's, uh -huh. it's right. Okay, look, mira, mira. It's raining or it rains? It's raining. Yes, it's raining. Mira, está lloviendo. Look, it's raining. Okay. Uh, perfect. Now, Helen. And after Helen, we're having Kevin. Number four. Number four. I have to home. Mm -hmm. It gets dark. Okay. Sería la otra, Helen. It's... Uh, it's Yes. Ajá, porque dice, eh, tengo que ir a casa. It's getting dark. Está oscureciendo. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Helen. We go with Kevin and then Claudia. Okay. Number two. Number two. Play tennis twice a week. Yes. Easy cheesy. Okay. Now we go with uh, Claudia, right? And then Dorita. Number six. Number six. This is such a great, a great, a great party. Party? Mm -hmm. I having. Giving. Okay, I I'm am. having. Yes, I'm having. So much fun. Yes. Esta es una gran, es una gran fiesta. Me estoy divirtiendo. Estoy teniendo mucha diversión, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Como todos estaban así el sábado. Okay. Dorita. Okay, Dorita. And finally, uh, number Christian. seven. Number seven. I I always try to tell. Yes. The truth. Perfect. Siempre intento decir la verdad. Eso me pasa. Okay. Thank you, Dorita. We go with Christian. Number eight. Oh, well, yes. yes. Would you like some candy? Candy? Person two. Mm -hmm. No, thanks. I I am not liking candy. Ok. Como es algo bien común, ¿te gustaría algo, algunos dulces? No, gracias. No me gusta. ¿Y no me gustan se dice? Uh, don't like. I don't like. Porque si no sería, no me está gustando. Ok, sería, I don't like it. Ok. Relax. I don't like it. Okay, thank you. Now uh, let's go with the question. Vamos con la otra pregunta. I'm sorry with this. Uh, I don't know what is happening with. Creo que se lo... Okay. Do you think schools are teaching skills needed to succeed in life? ¿Crees que las escuelas están enseñando las habilidades necesarias para tener éxito en la vida? And we're having the first participation on Diego. Okay, my friend. And no, I don't think so. At least in our country, we. Okay, Diego, I think we. Uh, I'm sorry, I can hear you. No te puedo escuchar. ¿eh? Maybe the internet is having problems. Mm -mm. Outdated information. I think the schools should add new programs in their classes to update the 
the students to turn them into competitive people. Okay. And we're in the, our system of education is not updated. It is not adapted to the needs. No está adaptado a las necesidades, okay? And it, they are not developing uh, the skills, okay? That some students need, yep, to have success. Thank you, thank you very much. Claudia, are you ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead, Claudia. My opinion is yes, because it does not depend on the school, but on the discipline of each student to succeed in life. Okay. Uh, your, your opinion is focused on self-didactics, okay? Como también ser autodidacta, okay? To learn by ourselves, our interests, and yeah, to investigate. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Veronica, are you ready? Yes, go ahead. Yes. No, because they have removed subjects that found you to be a very human base as moral and civic, where they tell you to respect people in courtesy. Okay, yes, there are some subjects uh, or contests to contents that were removed, okay? More important. Ah, you consider that they were, or they are more important than yeah. the others that we have. Okay, thank you for your opinion, Veronica. Nice. Christian, are you ready, my friend? And then Dorita. I am ready. Go ahead. The school teaches uh, use only a part of the skills. Uh, the rest depends on each person or student acquiring and developing team. Tim. Okay, okay, yes, they use just a part, okay? Okay, thank you, Christian. Dorita, and after Dorita, we're having Helen. Do you think, do you think students are studying the skill need to succeed in life? No, because some of the teacher that I know give the classes to get out of the commitment and not with the person that the student learns. Okay, okay, so they need to change, right? There are a lot of things to change. Okay, thank you, Dorita, Helen, and then we're going with Carmen. No, an education system is stopped. A result of the pandemic, the teacher in copy and paste more don't have this result. And even believe the parents, they are teaching. No sé si es enseñar así. Teaching, teaching, mm -hmm. teaching yes. is enseñanza. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Children. The children. Okay. Thank you, Helen. Uh, your your opinion uh, or in your comment uh, goes more on the the previous events that we have as the COVID. And one important thing is that teachers are not updated. Uh, that is a key word that Diego said. Uh, not only it is not updated not only the system of education, but also the teachers and even the resources, but okay. But thank you, Helen. And we're having to finish this round with uh, Susie. Hello, Susie. Hi. Hello. Uh, I think so, even, even with more advantage for all the new technology and mental health, that that they try to incorporate in some school okay thank you okay and the mental health very important that is uh an area that should be um developed in a different way right so that's it thank you thank you very much susie okay now um here we have the let's see we are about to finish. Ya vamos para, ya vamos a terminar. Sorry. 
to have just like two more, like three slides. Yeah, ya para terminar, terminar. Just give me a second. Okay, vamos a trabajar ahorita. We're going to work in closed questions en preguntas cerradas y también abiertas. Okay, but the first one, vamos a utilizar esto. En aquí, I'm sorry, in this space, in this uh, space in blanks, we're going to use the verb be. Vamos a utilizar el verb be y in the second space, we're going to use the word that is in parentheses. It means a verb with ing, con ing, okay? So the first person to start is going to be, in this case, Marlon, okay, my friend? Pick one. <clears throat> okay, number one. Yeah. Is, is Richard working in the garden? Yeah, you kill it. Really, sister. Carmen, you Thank go you. and then Andrea. Is she having a cup of tea? Perfect. Easy cheesy. Demasiado fácil para ti. Okay, Andrea, you go and then Alex. Mm, number four. Okay. No. Are you cleaning the kitchen, Tom? Yes. Yo pensé que me iba a decir chicken. Okay, kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Alex, you go and after Alex, we're having Diego. Um, number five. Number five. Is the cat to sleep in the, in the basket. basket? Okay, sleeping, sleeping. sleeping. Okay, good, thank you. Diego and then Helen. Okay. Uh, uh, our number, number six. Are Cliff Burton and Oliver uh, meeting friends? Okay, bien, it's okay. Cliff Burton, yeah, I'm sorry for. Unfortunately, he passed away before time. Yeah. I, 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 I think Marlon thinks the same, right, Marlon? Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, Helen, your turn. And after Helen, Claudia. Me quitó la que había ido. No, hombre, a dormirte, él ya estaba dormido. Costada estaba esta mujer. Ok. 15 minutes, 15 minutos. Relax, 15 minutes. Ok. Number 8. Ok. The birds. Uh, bueno, es, es plural. Ajá, it's plural. So, uh -huh. um, drinks water. Ok, are the birds drinking the birds water? Drink? Todas esas las vamos a utilizar. Todas esas las vamos a utilizar con ING. Ok, good. Thank you. Ok, who's next? Claudia, dije, ¿verdad? Ok, Claudia, and then we go with... Um, claro. Ok, Claudia. No sé si está bien, pero ya, no... Seguí me... tu corazón. Ajá. Number 10. Number 10. Are they... Do eating a pizza? Bueno, eso no lo vamos a utilizar. Are, uh, are they? Eating a pizza. Eating, ajá. Uh -huh. Are they eating a pizza? Thank you. Ok, who's next? Who's next? ¿A quién había dicho? Me. Eh, Caro, and then Kevin. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Number nine. Nine. And... Um, is Carmen wearing? He can't vuelve a ver. He can't go over. Is Carmen wear, uh, wearing a pullover? Pull over. Pull over. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And let's see who's next. Who's next? Kevin. And then Edgar. Okay. Is the children. Do they homework? Okay, doing. Pero como doing, sorry. Children, sorry. children, children it's you. a plural. Children is plural. No decimos. Are the children yes. doing the homework? Yes. Sé que confunde bastante porque no lleva eso. Okay, good. Thank you. And Edgar. And then Marlon again. 
number seven. Number seven. Mm, is your mother making sandwiches? Good. And Marlon, number eight. Okay. Are the birds uh, drinking water? Okay, perfect. Now uh, we're going to almost, ya casi vamos a terminar, right? And nos falta todavía una worksheet ya para ir finalizando, okay? So do you think schools are teaching the skills needed to succeed in life? And here we're having um, Andrea's opinion. So Andrea. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, because teachers are not longer as demanding as before, for example, as before, for example, um, when leaving homework, for instance, uh, when I was studying, I remember that if they did, didn't do a homework, the teacher would make us do it and repeat it several times. Mm. They, they were teaching me uh, to be responsible and disi disciplined. 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 Okay, yes, yeah, teachers are now, oh, so I'm, I'm very relaxed. Soy muy relajado, entonces. Okay, I'm going to ask you no. more. <laughs> no. Um, it, it is different the way that, that uh, like the responsibility, okay? You can see uh, like a big difference uh, in the previous, well, previous years, uh, teachers asked for more or they were like pushing. Que están como presionado un poco más. Thank you, Andrea. And now we're having Kevin. Ready, Kevin? Ten yes, minutes and we finish, my friends. Okay. I think not. In my opinion, teachers are not using a good methodology with children or young people. Most teachers do not love teaching or much less are interested in their student learning. They only go to work just to go and forget what they have to do is teach. Yes, and I think the methodology is so important, but uh, a lot of teachers that they don't care about it to, to update or to do different activities, right? There is like, a, they, they work sometimes as a robot, right? Okay, thank you, Kane. Um, what about Alex? Are you ready, Alex? And then Edgar. Yes. Please. I don't think what is locking in money school is discipline. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you say that discipline is needed. Okay, more. Okay, and uh, Edgar and then Carla. Okay, uh, for me is no, uh, because today teachers only teach things that just because they found it on the internet, they want to teach it, uh, trying to save uh, their responsibility towards the student, which something they they see on the internet or making them only look for it uh, for it on the internet. Okay, uh, as you as someone said, copy and paste, right? About content, mm -hmm. though there is no order sometimes of the topics uh, developed. Okay, thank you, Edgar. We go with Carla and we finish with Carito. Um, no, because the teacher cannot correct the student as he was, he was before because the student want to, want to what they want. Okay, good. Uh, your opinion is focused on correction, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we go with Clau Carito, Marlon. You have not given your opinion, right? Okay, after Marlon. Okay, I'm so sorry. Carito, please. Okay, it's no, because the school and teacher are not trying to train, train children for the very future. They do not have the necessary tool for a good training. Okay, um, not necessary tools, okay? We lack of, of that, mm -hmm. I carence of this, okay? Thank you. Marlon, your point of view, my friend. 
Okay, teacher, I don't think, uh, I don't think the schools are teaching the skills needed. Uh, I think we can improve in our, uh, uh, in our system, in our educational system. Uh, we can improve uh, and we have to take uh, examples uh, of the countries, of the developed countries, mm -hmm. and we, we have to take them uh, as an as, as example. So I think we can improve our system, our education system. Yes, definitely. Thanks, Marlon. Uh, we can take the good things. I think we can imitate uh, good aspects in different uh, areas, not only education, about finances, about security, but something that I want to tell you is three things. Well, three things that I want to tell you is one, here in the suburb, you can see the difference between private uh, education and public education, right? In private education, like they ask for more, um, they are common, not all the private schools, but most of them, the teachers are like more updated and they have, well, they ask for more. And well, that, that's something that in the, in the public system, we don't have it, not all the time. And second is that in schools, we need to teach finances. Necesitamos eh, enseñar acerca de finanzas personales, okay? How to save money, cómo ahorrar, for example, about like um, emotional education, verdad, educación emocional, that's really important. And also sports, but not only soccer. There are different kinds of sports. And even when they, well, there's like a subject. MMA. Sorry? There are a lot of sports like MMA. Yeah, well, I don't know if you practice uh, some of sports, but indeed we have a, a variety, even in creatividad or artística, some teachers they just give drawings for students to color them and there are different forms to, to express creativity and well uh, we have a lot to do there there is a lot to improve and mucho que mejorar so that's it we, we can and we can. i think teacher so uh, we can uh, improve uh, in giving to the children or, or to 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 the los niños children yeah. so it's, children kids give it, give it, give it to the ch children a more uh, logical education yeah not not only uh, the the very the, formal the, education the right? formal education the basic education the the, the children uh, uh, also needs to to lift uh, or como era lo de um, Desestresarse. Ah, relax, yes. Relax, like, and, and then calm uh, down. I think mm -hmm. there are some asp aspects that yeah, we can improve. Even uh, I have taught kindergarten kids. Yo, yo he enseñado en kinder. Believe me, kids are, well, they're amazing. They have, a, 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 well, like a very retention. They have a memory unbelievable. So they they have the the skills to be developed, but unfortunately, like we care more about different things, right? But well, anyway, there is a lot to do. True, a teacher, my my older daughter learned to speak English just in six months. Yes, yes, it, it, it is it is possible because they are acquiring. Right, they acquire a lot of what uh, they are surrounded by, de lo que le rodea. So it, they can be positive things or negative, of course. So that, that's the point. And even if the parents are more included, the better. Si los papás están como que se incluyen en todo eso. So they are going to be so intelligent, okay? Well, that's a good example as, as Diego said. Yeah, they have the ability, tienen la habilidad, okay? So uh, to finish, yes, Diego, tell me. No, no, no. Okay, awesome. And we have the last worksheet because we have three minutes, tenemos tres minutos. Ya hicimos, we already did close question. Las preguntas cerradas iban con R, con am, no, con is al inicio because the answer was yes or no. Se recuerdan, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
are the boys are Carmen and our Cliff and, and Oliver, okay? And in this, they are open questions. Estas son preguntas abiertas. Entonces, por ejemplo, no, we're not going to say, what do you? What are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? Okay, so that's the first one. Ya le di la primera. Okay, so for number, for next, we're having Andrea. Hi, teacher. This is Esther, why, y el verb be. How much beer are drinking? Así. Okay, how much beer mm -hmm. uh, are, are drinking? Are? Uh -huh. Are drinking. Are you drinking? Mm -hmm. are how you much drinking? beer are you drinking? This is an important question. Okay, how mm -hmm. much beer are you <laughs> drinking? Thank you. Okay, we go now with Kevin. And then Carmen. Okay. Where is she staying? Where uh -huh, is she staying? Yes, perfect. Carmen, then Veronica. Where is sleeping the cat? Where is the cat? The cat is sleeping. Yes, thank you. Okay, Veronica, then Diego. What I am reading. What? Um, am I what? Uh -huh, what mm -hmm. am I reading? Yes, reading perfect. Mm -hmm. Diego and then Dorita. Okay, why is the girl laughing? Good, uh, Dorita, and then we go with Edgar. How are you traveling? Okay, how are you traveling? Thank you. Okay, Edgar, and we go with Susie. How many cases is it it? Uh, how many cases is it eating? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, eating, yeah. eating. Thank you. Okay, next. Uh, who who are talking you to? Sería así. Who are? Who are talking? Who are talking? you talking to? Uh, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. No problem. No problem. Talking. Talking to, yes. And the last, when are they coming? Termino acá porque I have to check the attendance list in less than a minute. Reviso la asistencia en menos de un minuto. Then we finish. Okay, Andrea, Lou. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Present. Claudia. Present. Thank you, Carito. Present. Good, Christian. Present. Alex. Present. Good, Diego. Present. Thanks, Dorita. Present. Edgar. Present. Helen. Present. Carla. Present. Good. Kevin. Present. Marlon. Present. Susie. Present. Okay, and Veronica. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. And today we have Christian Alberto for attending session and the rest see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hey, good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye, right, teacher. Bye bye. See you, friends. Okay, Christian. Vamos a ver ese. Bueno, ya. Um, Te das cuenta que, bueno, esas sesiones duran bien poco, ¿verdad? Tú dime si hay algo en que te gustaría, pues, que revisáramos. Okay. Si algún que tema, algún temas. Uh -huh. que son bastantes temas, no sé cuál. Eh, elegí el primero que encontrés ahí, que consideras. Y mientras yo te voy explicando, puedes buscar otro. Um, no sé. Qué bárbaro, no, qué bárbaro. <ríe> Siempre en el presente continuo, tal vez, pero en cuestión de las preguntas. Ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver acá. Uh -huh. Bye. La clave está aquí, mira. Vamos a utilizar. Por ejemplo. Aquí, what. Tenemos what. 
Mm-hmm. Um, tú. Este, ¿Te diste cuenta que hubo una eh, worksheet donde solo le agregamos el is y el verbo el ing? Is. Uh -huh. sí. Ahora, entonces mira, what, aquí mira, are some activities is analyzing. Entonces, después del what, who, después del where, el how, como sea, va a ir el verb be. Y te voy a poner un claro ejemplo de cómo hacerlo. Va, mira acá. Eh, si te das cuenta, aquí tiene what, pero aquí sí. no, ¿verdad? No. Es porque esta es una pregunta abierta y esta es una cerrada. La, la diferencia es esta. Mira. Are you doing some of the activities described above? ¿Harás algunas de estas actividades anteriormente descritas? Sí o no. Pero esta es diferente. What are some activities Mary is doing this week? ¿Cuáles son algunas de las actividades que Mary va a hacer esta semana? Entonces mira, are, y aquí siempre va are, pero antes de eso va la palabra what. Okay. O sea que sería lo mismo que vimos en el periodo pasado. Exacto, sí. Cuando se poníamos el verbo. Para Exacto. Hacerlo. Y es lo que quiero, quiero que hagamos eso ahorita. Bien. Elegí cualquiera. Uh -huh. eh, number. Quiero ver. Four. Ok, number four. Uh -huh. Tendría que ser Are you claim, claiming? Ok, are. Uh -huh. You. Are you cleaning? Cleaning. Uh -huh. Cleaning. Yes. Pero lo otro no lo veo. <laughs> vale. Ok. He are kitchen. you? Uh -huh. Are you cleaning? Kitchen tongue. Uh -huh. Aquí, ¿qué le pregunta? ¿Estás? ¿Está clean? limpiando la cocina? ¿La cocina Tom? ¿O vas a limpiar la cocina? Ahora. Uh -huh la podemos cambiar a hacer a una pregunta abierta si le ponemos así. Mira. Ya. Why uh -huh. are you cleaning the kitchen, Tom? ¿Ya? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, solo hay que ponerle la... Exactly. Pero la, guay, la estructura guay. es la misma. Uh -huh. Ya viste, la estructura es la misma. Bien. Sí. También, vamos a ver otra. Uh -huh. La que sigue de cat is the cat. Tendría que ser. O... Ok, yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Seremos aquí entonces. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Is. Uh -huh. Is the cat. Is the cat. Sleeping in the basket. Yes. Okay. Yes, is the cat sleeping in the basket? Uh -huh. Y eh, le podemos poner why nuevamente acá. Ya. Sí. Le vamos a poner uh -huh. why. Pero vamos a utilizar otra que no sea why para que vos es el, el final de acá. ¿No es? Why es por qué, ¿verdad? Porque está Ajá, bien. ¿por qué? Porque está durmiendo ahí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Qué voy a decir? Aquí. Uh -huh. Vamos a seven. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería? Is your mother making sandwich? Yes, yes. Is your mother making sandwich? Ok. Ahora le podemos poner where. Ajá. ¿Y qué significa where, Christian? Where is, ¿dónde, no? Ajá, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Making, ¿qué era making? Making, no haciendo. Uh, ¿Cómo está haciendo los sándwiches? Casi, madre, casi. No. ¿Dónde, dónde? ¿Dónde? Ah, sí, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde está haciendo los sándwiches? Ajá, tu mamá, ya. Pero si le quitamos el where, solo sería, ¿está haciendo los sándwiches tu mamá? Y en la número tres, porque era, que dice, the children, pero ah, era como... Plural. Plural. Ah, porque cuando decimos 
Vaya, por ejemplo, decimos aquí. Decimos child es niño. Mm, children. Es niños. Es un nombre colectivo, aunque no lleve S. Ya. Mm -hmm. Te voy a poner otro ejemplo. Man es hombre. Men. Men es hombres, pero no lleva S. A S, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces es un nombre colectivo. Por ejemplo, aquí puedes decir Spider-Man, Batman, pero aquí puedes decir X-Men, los hombres X. Ya. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces, como este nombre es colectivo, se dice uh, are, are the children, no se dice is. Si solo fuera un niño sería is the child, pero are the children doing Doing. Ajá. Y, Ajá, es que tiende a confundir cuando es así. Sí, yo Porque sé. Por, por no llevar la S, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ajá. Es que nosotros eh, tenemos la idea de que todo lo que lleve S es plural. Pero no sé si te acuerdas que les dio un tema sobre eso. Sí. Que había unos sustantivos que son irregulares. Ajá, sí. entonces, eso, y eso confunde. ¿no? Entonces, igual acá, mira. Are the children doing their homework? Están haciendo su trabajo los niños. Entonces, aquí le podemos poner, por ejemplo, otra vez, where. Ajá, y la pregunta quedaría. ¿Dónde están haciendo su trabajo los niños? Yes, ya captaste. Uh -huh. Ya viste. Eh, sí, es, sí. es la misma estructura, solo le agregas where, why, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, para hacer una pregunta abierta. Exacto. Básicamente esa es la diferencia, solo yes. ponerle... Where, why, what? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Ya viste que sí. no, no está tan complicado, ¿verdad? La verdad que no. Ajá, la verdad que sí está fácil, entonces. Pero cuando hagan la tarea y todo eso, pues ahí te vas a dar cuenta que hay que... Ahí le vas captando, ¿verdad? Es a través sí. de la práctica, ¿verdad? Y todo eso, ¿verdad? Este, Cristian, vamos a ver si después programamos otra sesión de 10 minutos porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo, mira. Sí, ya. Rápido pasa. Ok, Cristian. Ay, gracias, Cristian. No, ya sabes, ahí estamos. ¿Estás sintiendo un poco difícil lo, los temas? ¿O alguno un poco confuso? No tanto. Ya uh -huh. medio estoy practicando. Ok. Excelente, Cristian. Sí. ¿Verdad? Perfecto. Así que este, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. Good night.